one ultimate here. So I haven't really been doing a lot of how to draw videos lately. I thought I would do another one. I took a vote and exactly one person answered me. So here you go, how to draw a leaf wing headshot. So as always, we're gonna start with two circles. First one will be around the middle of the paper. And this will determine how big your leaf wing's head will be. So you can make it as big or as small as you want. Now we're gonna do another one for the snout. And it's gonna be down here. About however big the small, however big the snout you would make is about that far, so you might want to make it a little bit bigger, and then this is just the basis, so leaf wings have kind of elegant snouts, so we're going to go from here, I'm going to make a long curving line that goes up and meets this next circle. We're going to go from there, we're going to go along the top, and down, and curve in again, all right? And then we're gonna go from here, from this snout, and we're gonna go down, do a little bump, because this is going to be the edge of their lip, Go down, make a bump for the chin, go in, and do another bump. This is going to be the jaw. So, let's see here. I'm going to make this just a little bit wider. Make it glisten, and then... We are going to do the belly next, so we're going to start from around the middle, here, and we're just going to go down, curve, go along this line that you made, and just go down like this. Right. Okay, and now, I'm just going to make this a little bit more. Okay. So let's do the eye next. So I think that would be around here, and I'm just going to do a pretty normal, passive eye. And then leaf wings have this little eyebrow that kind of curves in, so you would go from the top and then go like that. Then of course they have the big eyebrows that sky wings and such also have, so we're going to go right here. I'm going to go up. I'm going to make a big bump. And then we're going to go down. And this here is going to go in to form the, I think they're horns? I don't really know. They're just going to be big, swoopy, you can make them however you like. So I just do basic normal shape. Go in from here, meet it there. They have flat leaf-like kind of horns because they are indeed leaf wings. So I would go like this. Mm -hmm. And then flatten this a bit. We don't need it to be so prominent. And then go do the next one over here. You don't have to show it fully. And then of course there's a second eyebrow. And a second nostril. Now they're, technically they don't really have very prominent um, bumps for their nostrils, but I find it's easier to do a view like this if you give them one, so. Alright, so we're going to go here, and we're going to see, so leaf wings only have two bumps on their mouth, so we're just going to do one small one, and
and then one big one that goes all the way down and in like that. So this is already starting to look remotely like a leaf wing. Now we're going to find the ears. So we're going to come from here. And leaf wing's ears kind of look like a circly teardrop shape. So you're going to draw it where you want it to be and go in from this horn and then kind of curve it and shape it. I'm looking at the reference right now. So it's just kind of a teardrop attached and then you would do the inside of it which would be like kind of like this. Okay and now let's see here. So leaf wings also have those spines and they're connected by sort of webs but it's not really like a sea wings because sea wings are kind of pointy and a leaf wings are rounded so let's start them here and then round it off and do a little stretchy thing you can make these as big or small as you want I like to make them pretty small because I don't really think they're supposed to be very huge in the dragon, but, and then once you do the spines, you would want to connect them like so. Alright. Alright. And then, of course, there's a belly, so we would go from here and we would just do a narrow space about the width of my finger now. And this is going to be the belly. Now, we won't ink it like this because it's technically not like this, but you just do the normal lines going across. Right. And then, of course, there's the spot. So these are fun that's partly why i like drawing leaf wings because a lot of the tribes have specific patterns that you need to go to and leaf wings just don't i mean they have patches all over but you can make them wherever you want and however you want so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go from the bottom and it seems to get more prominent the more you go up so it's just going to be kind of like a bowl shape. I'm just going to add blobby shapes all the way up, just random shapes like this. Now you can make them better when you ink it. If you ink it, it's okay to leave it as a sketch. And then normally the leaf ones have a bunch around the ear. So I would do those, and they have a bunch like this, going over along the horn. And I would do it on the other side too. And then these continue along the eyebrow, and keep going until they get smaller and smaller and aren't there anymore. And then we would go like this. Okay. And now let's just add a pupil to this eye. So we're going to do a small circle like this and a bigger circle to do the iris. And then just a small highlight right there. Okay, it looks good. Alright. I don't think it's missing anything except for, remember when we did that sky wing? I think we did a sky wing. I forget now. Um, but anyway, whenever you do sky wings, they have this um, armor plates kind of on the back. And leaf wings have these two. So I'm going to quickly draw those. And they're just basically squares, but at the end... They are rounded. They're kind of like these patches, but they're more formed. If 
that makes sense. Okay. So, this is our leaf wing. Basically completed. So, all you need to do now is take your pen, whichever kind you have, and uh, ink it. So, I'll see you when I'm done. And there you have it. Our leaf wing is finished. I hope this helped and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what I should do next. Ultimate out.